Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to the Surge walkthrough. Last time we ran around most of this first area, we got a lot of scrap, a lot of components, and like I said, before we step back outside, we are going to craft all of our armor, and we're going to upgrade any weapons that we can, as well as increase our core power. So first, we are going to go into our inventory, use all the consumables that we have gathered. There we go, so we're up to 16,000. And now we're going to go to gear assembly. You can see over on the left hand side, everything that we collected has automatically been broken down. And from the schematics page, we can go ahead and start crafting. By the way, left and right triggers will sort between the various types. So head, leg, arm, chest. And then if we go and use right bumper, we can go over to upgrade. But we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So we do need one arm. We need one chest piece. We need the head. And we also need a leg. There we go. Now, if I go and try to equip this, what's going to happen? Well, I am going to run out of core power. You can see there, just by putting the head, I'm at 9 out of 14. Body adds another 3. Left arm adds 2. So, I am now at capacity 14 out of 14 and can't put this on. So, I need to increase my core power at least 2 units. So, I am going to do that right now just so I don't run out. So there's one. Also, this opens up an implant slot for us, which is excellent. And two. We'll worry about that implant slot in just a moment. But by putting this on, our defense is now at 46. We have low stability, so that's not great. We can get knocked around pretty easily. But if we go over to specs, a lot of information on here. What we're most concerned about is that gear set bonus. Wearing a full set of Lynx gear grants increased attack speed while at or near full health. Staying topped off will make us swing a lot faster. And with the twin rigged weapons that we're going to get momentarily, that's really fast. I mean, it's really fast. I am going to show off all the different armors as often as I can, but this is one of my favorites just because I love attacking quickly. Now, I also said we're going to try an upgrade. If we go into upgrade, here's what I really like. By using the sort function, I can go to equipped just by hitting left trigger, so I can look at just the items that I currently am using, and I can see what I want to upgrade. Now, I can't upgrade any of my armor because it's already Mark 1, and I don't have any of the Mark 2 resources, but if I go over to my Vibro Cutter, I do have 15 Tungsten Alloy, so I can upgrade this to Mark 1, getting an additional 9 damage. Now, I'm not sure that's actually what I want to go with. I was thinking about doing this one, the Spectre Bite, because look at that, it's a 12 damage increase. So I think I'm going to do that. While we're out and about, I will collect some more Titanium, but for the boss, that's actually going to be a pretty good weapon, and you'll see why later. There we go. All right, now, we have some more scrap, so let's go as high as we can here. No sense in running out in the field with that. We're actually going to get a number of them, which is pretty great. Looks like, oh, not quite 24, but that's all right. We'll bank the rest. So now we have a lot of spots available for another implant. I'm happy with all of these so far. Now, medical audit, I am going to switch this out right before the boss fight because it's not going to do me any good. You do see the boss health bar even without this. So I'll put in something else, probably the one that prevents energy decay. But what do I want instead? Maybe just some extra health? Probably some health would be good. Energy is not bad. I could do another injectable. Maybe we'll do that instead. Yeah, why don't we do that? This will give us some chance to heal over time if we need it. All right, how time to go I out in the field and see one. just how much faster we swing. I mean, just look at that. It is a big increase. I don't know what the numerical increase is, but it seems to be pretty significant. And miss, perfect. Get them together though. And one dead, two dead, perfect. Lots and lots of energy there building up. Not gonna worry about killing all of these enemies. If I do ever go back and clear stuff just to get the modifier, I'll probably just cut the video there so you don't have to watch, but we are going to have to grab this guy's attention. Yep, there's the dash that I'm used to. Right. Tell you what, let's get the specter bike going. And, hey. Watch the drones. Come this way, because I want that arm of yours. I would really like to get some more tungsten alloy. 
The idea is, if we can actually go into the next zone with all of the weapons upgraded to Mark 1, I think we'd be in really good shape. And, but no, we're, we're going to end up just killing this guy. Yeah, even with the vibro cutter, we cut him. Cut him deep. All right. Shame on you. Finish the job. Take you out. Yeah, rip him right apart. There's one of those beautiful combos that I just enjoy so much. Yeah, let's see. Oh, kind of wanted to get the uh, the backstab, but that's all right. I like the dash in attack because it does significantly less damage, but it allows you to do so very, very safely. So if you're ever worried about killing someone instead of getting the cut, it might be a good idea. Okay, you're done. Watch it. All right, single rigged up to level three. Oh, oh, I just jumped, but I don't think I actually dodged. I just accidentally jumped. There we go. But now we're going to be heading downstairs. And the reason I recommend getting armor, especially a chest piece, is because this. You have light only if you've equipped a chest piece. If you don't, going downstairs gets very, very dark. Now, if you have this weapon, the Spectre Bite, it does actually give up a good bit of light itself. So it's not a bad thing if you don't have the chest piece, but you do have a Spectre Bite. Just keep that in mind. Oh, we still didn't get the cut there. All right. Finish you off. Might as well kill you. And yep, your arm is armored, which is good. Using the iframes from the dodge there. And there's the cut. One of the really nice things about energy is that eventually we'll get implants that can actually, oh, look at that, one-handed up to level three. Eventually, we're going to get an implant that allows us to convert energy directly into HP, which is really, really nice because that is, is essentially unlimited healing as long as you actually have energy. Now, here we are with the lights. Like I said, it is very dark down here, but if we don't have lights, but we have this, it does give off a good bit. So if you have one or the other, you should be okay, but just keep in mind, you'll want at least one. All right, more scrap there. Should be able to. Oh, I was going to say get the backstab, but I guess not because this guy is already very well aware. One more hit for the cut, maybe? Yep, there we are. So from here, we can go down into the water. We cannot open up that terminal anytime soon, but we're going to ignore that guy. Instead, go down here. This is actually what's going to activate the boss. Once you've overridden that terminal behind him, that is when you have to be careful. Now, this enemy is quick. He's a lot faster than the other enemies that we've been fighting, but he also has some unique gear on him. It's kind of hard to get the cuts, though, because typically you end up killing him first. I'm going to do my best not to, though, if I can. Just do some light damage. Nope, see, I don't want to do that. Just want to do some light cuts. There we go. Just one hit and dodge away if you want to be very, very safe with this fight. And there's the cut. Cut off his arm, and let's see what we get. Meta Voltaic Injection. Now, that is a given. Anytime you kill him, you will get this implant. This is the implant I was just talking about, which can, which can convert energy to HP, which is essentially your unlimited HP as long as you're fighting. But we also got one of my favorite, the Yosuke Butterflies. We also got the schematic for the Rhino Arm. So that is one of the enemies that does have the Rhino Armor. I think I said only one respawn. I think this guy does respawn. I'll have to double check that, but I think he does. 
you can farm some of the rhino gear from him. But let's take a look at these new weapons because they are just too cool. Look at how fast they are. I love twin rig weapons in this game. And I love that move. That's the uh, R1, R1, R2. And when you finally get ones that actually have fire imbued, oh boy, you spew out fire as you pirouette around. Too much fun. So we'll be using this just to upgrade that, the proficiency wise. But let's go ahead and overcharge. This is going to turn some lights on for us. Excellent. So we did just get the Rhino Arm. I have to remember that because we want to try and get some others from some of the other enemies we're going to fight. All right, I'm going to grab this audio log. I have to say I'm not comfortable with it. Not comfortable at all. We've had multiple accidents. We have to shut it down and take it to pieces bit by bit. Now, I know what you're going to say, but we've been lucky. We've been able to sweep the previous incidents under the rug. We can't just rely on good luck. I know nobody cares about the grunts down here, but God knows they will care if the media gets hold of it. Or worse, the oversight committee. Just got some more gear there. You could see just how quick your energy builds up when you perform combos. That is the key to keeping your energy nice and high. One hit and then backing off while it's safe, it's not going to give you the energy you need to use particular implants. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes being aggressive is actually the way to succeed. All right. Oh, careful. I actually want to deal with this drone first. Just make sure he... Oh, yeah. He does a jump. There we go. All right. Got him out of the way. Now, let's get your arm off if we could. Watch it. That was a huge combo. Really good for the energy, but not so good for my stamina. And yes, good. More tungsten alloy for me. So when in doubt, if you're not sure what to cut, just go for the arm that's holding the weapon. That way you at least have a chance of getting some tungsten. Any doors currently that have this little scanner above them, we cannot get through. Denied. It's going to be a while before we can get through those doors, and there are a number of them. So once again, see the scanner? Don't try to go through it yet. We have come into possession of evidence that links Ed Nakana, employee number 776910, to the homicides associated with the individual known as the Liberator. All indications point to the fact that he has deliberately tampered with his neural implant, including disabling his GPS function. Therefore, Creonet cannot ascertain his whereabouts. While he's at large, he is a serious threat to staff and Creo's image. If this were to get out, we need to take care of this quickly. Hmm. Someone on the inside doing things to his neural implant that he shouldn't be doing. Sounds like they even track all their employees, which isn't all that surprising, to be honest, for a company like Creo. Especially when they've invested apparently quite a lot into all of their employees with these exo rigs. All right. Use some energy, get some health back. Perfect. Now, get this drone. Build up some delicious energy. Oh, watch it. Ah, oh, I lost all the energy that I just built up. And there we go, got some back. More scrap over here. Now there's a very tough enemy coming up. Let me out. This worker is not what he seems. Once you open this door, you're going to be fighting someone with a very, very powerful weapon. We have to be very careful when we do so. Hey, back up. Watch it. We're about to take a hit from this other guy. Oh. And, oh no, all right. I'm gonna just use an instant heal really quickly. And let's see. Proficiency up to level two. Now this guy is also wearing the rhino gear and he's using a different weapon from what we've seen. He's using a hammer called the Titan. If it is armored, we're gonna try and get that cut so we can get it. Don't let him hit you. For the love of everything, don't let him hit you. Perfect, he is wearing armor on that arm. 
So we are going to try and just focus on getting that cut. Couple of hits and then get out of there. Watch his big swings. And, okay, that was good. And there we go. Now, unfortunately, we do get the Titan. That's not the unfortunate part. We did have a chance to get more Rhino gear from him if we targeted another body part. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, the surge actually crashed. And unfortunately, the save was actually back in the room where I last did an overcharge on the terminal when I got the butterflies. But I did make it back here. I got the Titan again. But as I was saying, this enemy doesn't respawn. So if you want to get gear off of him, you have to be careful on what you're selecting. Inside, we do get blue X cables. This is a new implant for us. Energy consumption minus 10%. Reduces the energy cost of performing finishing moves. It's not bad. Some of the higher tiers are very good, but 10% really isn't that much as far as getting the finishing moves. So I don't necessarily recommend it. Oh boy. Now, if you want some more weapons, we have to go down there, but it is dangerous. I'm going to try it, but there's a good chance I might die. But before we do that, I'm going to try and actually get my health back a little bit by killing some of these guys, but hopefully getting some cuts on them so I can get the 10% health back. I might not get it, though, because I was... Yeah, my energy is a little bit low, I think. Probably not going to get it. Yeah, not on this one. On the next one, though. Just target whatever has armor. Let him swing. And once again, let him swing. Oh, shouldn't, yep, all right. Well, at this point, we'll get some health, but we're gonna have to use a pack anyway. That's okay. That's all right. So, grab all of that. That was another vital boost implant, which we now have three of. If we wanna use three implants to increase our health, we can do that. Now, up here, is probably going to look familiar. We are now back in this main room. We actually couldn't open this from this side. We do have a little bit of a map here, which good luck if you know how to read that because I sure as heck don't. But what we want to do now is backtrack so we can try and get that weapon, ideally without dying. It's possible, but it's not easy. I do recommend stacking some health, but we're not going to try and fight things along the way because we need to keep moving while we are in that sludge. So the first things first, we're going to deal with this guy. Get a little bit of health from him. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the injectable that is healing over time. And then as soon as I'm about full, I'm going to start running in there. We want to run straight, left, and then right. Grab the item and then come back, all the while pumping your heals if you need to. This area is full of corrosive acid and drones with projectiles, and they're going to be shooting at you. I might not make it. I might not make it, but we're sure as heck going to try. All right. We'll use that. Going to give it a little bit. Like I said, right before it hits the end, we're going to run, and we are going to run. Go. Go. You can see I'm still regenerating some health. Dodging these. Oh, and I didn't make it. I wasn't paying attention to my health. Oh, and the item was right there. Okay, I'll see you guys back down at this staircase. But actually, before nice we day, go there, Warren. I want to show you the lost tech scrap mechanic. You have two and a half minutes from the time you exit the bay in order to get your stuff back. But as you kill enemies... You do gain an additional 20 seconds for each kill. So you can see there, I'm back up to 230. And now with this kill, I'm back up to almost 245. So definitely an easier way to get your stuff instead of just trying to run through every enemy because that can get very dangerous. I will run past some of them. Anyway, I'm going to see you guys back down at that staircase. Now the problem is, my well, my scrap's right there. It's not too far. Can I use one of these? All right, I have two minutes. I'm actually going to wait the timer out. I'm going to see if I can use one of these while I'm not hurt. I'm not sure if I can. If I can't, I'm just going to dip my toe into that acid.
No, I can't. All right, but I can pop one as soon as I start taking damage. So that works for me. Pop one, pop a health. Got the, got the item. Quickly, quickly. All right, pop another one. We made it, just barely, but we made it. Oh, I didn't even give you a chance to see what it was, but we got our scrap, we got the item, oh boy. But for getting that, what you actually obtain is the Volatile Spectre. So this is similar to the Spectre Bite, but a little bit different. If we take a look at the details of the Spectre Bite, you can see here elemental damage because it's electricity, slash damage, crush damage, thrust damage. But if we go over to the new one, 25 elemental damage and less everything else. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So this is the heavy duty answer to their vibro cutter model with extreme cutting power and a mounted single rig design to better handle its increased weight. But there we go. Now, <laughs> we could go fight the boss. That is next. But before we do that, you know what? We have some scrap and I would like to go and change up a few things before we do. So I'm just going to ignore all of these enemies. And you know what? I totally forgot to open this door. Not that it really makes a big difference. <laughs> it makes almost no difference at all. But there you go. Just for completion's sake. Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one. If I stacked my health and I also got the metavoltaic implant, that can help. But just using the healing over time mechanic can time. do a lot of good. So, once again, using all the consumables... And let's see, what else can we improve here? We can make the Rhino. Might as well, just so I have it. And we are going to upgrade. What do we want to upgrade next? We already upgraded that. We could do the Butterflies. Oh, we have a lot of Tungsten. We can actually upgrade quite a bit. We'll upgrade that one. Oop. Might as well just upgrade everything we can for the time being. And that'll be it. So we still have two more that aren't Mark 1s yet. But that's okay. That's still going to do a really, really good job. All right. Now we can improve our suit a little bit more. Get up to 25, which is another implant slot. And we're going to get ready for the boss. Now for the boss, like I said, I'm going to switch out this when we're there. We don't have to do it now. But this one is good. This one is not going to do us any good because we're not going to actually use a finishing move. So we're not going to get any help back from that. So I think what I'll do is, let's see, the definitely the Voltaic Injector. I like that one a lot. That one is fine if we want it, but I think I'll definitely do some health. So plus 18 health will do us a little bit of good. In fact, do we want to swap that out? No, we'll leave that on. We'll leave that on. We can always swap that out for what's another hot swappable. By the way, you can sort this as well. So hardwired, injectables, hot swap. So anything in here I can do in the field. So I can actually do energy decay, which is really nice. In fact, I have two of those blue X. No, energy decay, energy consumption. We want the sustaining array. But we'll do that when we get to the boss. All right, perfect. Happy to help. Excellent. It's nearly boss time. And I'm really excited to show this boss off because it's pretty, it's pretty fun how you fight him. Oop, okay. Didn't mean to take some damage there, but... I'm actually going to run past most of the enemies at this point. Even the, uh, getting the combat multiplier up would be good for the bonus. Eh, we're okay. <laughs> we're all right. There's actually still another small section we're going to go to before we fight the boss. Well, after we fight the boss, rather. And, you know, what? I'm going to switch back to the Spectre Bite. Easy kills there, doing lots of damage now. And the boss is going to trigger as soon as we enter into that room. So I'm just going to rush right in there now. Uh, you know what? I'm going to top off with one of these. And we're going to be focused... Well, I need to swap out my implants if I'm going to do this. We're going to focus on using this implant as often as we can for the added damage. Once again... Oh, gosh. Once again, I'm going to be showing you how to get the improved version of the boss weapon. And in order to do that, well, I'll explain it when we're in there. But first, it's implant time. Get rid of medical audit, and we're going to throw on the sustaining array. And we're just going to rush. At this point, hopefully I don't get shot. Looks good. And we're in. 
You can see as we pass a little bit further, these gates go up, and there he is. System check initiated. Error bypassing. Error bypassing. Bypass successful. Bringing primary weapon online. Primary weapon offline. Secondary systems operational. Oh gosh, wow, that, that was much faster than I thought. <laughs> so anyway, this is Pax. You can see his health bar at the top and then underneath is kind of his, I think they call it heat up. I'm not really sure in this game if that's what they call it. But what we need to do is fill that up because when he does that, or when we do that, he's gonna start firing rockets. Now the way the game kind of wants you to win is by having him hit himself with rockets, which will cause him to fall down. You can tear off the armor on his head and then do a lot of damage. We are not going to use rockets to get him down. We're gonna to have to do so manually in order to get the alternate version. So I am going to start attacking now. We can only focus on his legs. By the way, I do not recommend locking on for this fight. I think it's a lot easier to just go ahead and play unlocked and just stay for the most part in between his legs. And the reason is, you're gonna see that soon. Let's do the stomp. What we want to do is actually get the armor stripped off of his legs, which is going to take a number of hits. But we can do it as long as we're careful. And that's going to get him into the next mode. So from here, now you can lock on, but you have to dodge all of these rockets because they do a lot of damage. He does volleys of... Oh, and there you, you can see I'm getting hit. So I'll just use that. All right. Too, too much... Too much damage. <laughs> uh oh. All right, time to focus. I need you to. All right, that's actually pretty good. All right, one one piece of armor is off. We want to get the other one. Try and follow him when he does this or else he's going to do the rockets. Oh, it's actually, you know, I think both are off. So now what we want to do is wait till he does a foot stomp and we want to actually hit the leg that's not stomping. And that should make him fall. And I am going to use my damage increaser. Oh, jeez. He's going to use rockets. Okay. Nope, no, no, no. Oh, I thought he was going to do that. And unfortunately, if you don't start targeting right when he does the rockets... You can't lock on because he's talking, and when things are talking, you can't actually change your targets. All right, what do we got? Nope, no, no, come on. Give me a stomp. What are you doing, man? This guy is being trolly. And I am running out of health. I'm out completely of healing items, which is unfortunate because I just took a rocket to the face. I promise this isn't as difficult as I'm making out to be. Do a stomp, would you? There we go. So I knocked him down. I, uh, I'm on the ground myself, but what we want to do is just focus right here and just do as much damage as we can. You can see he does go down very quickly once you've actually knocked him to the ground. Give me a triple. No? Triple? There we go. Knocked him down again. But unfortunately, he fell on me again. All right. I got a full stamina bar, though, and I did use my injection, so this is going well. That was a lot of damage there. All right, perfect. And where are you going? One stomp. Give me the stomp. Give me the triple stomp. Triple stomp me. Come on. Triple stomp. All right, I'll stand close to your legs. 
One. Excellent. Get up, get up. We should be able to finish this. If I can get around him. Oh, no. Oh, no. We didn't get it. Uh-oh. Time to be very careful. One stomp. Not a triple. This might be a triple. It is. Okay. He's down. Get up. And... There we go. And that's how you do it without actually using the rockets against him. And we got the version 2.0 and the Vital Boost V3. And we also got proficiency up to level four. Perfect, but check out the weapon we get. Now, because this is the 2.0, we do get higher damage. I don't know if the other stats are actually the same or not. I'll have to compare them and maybe I'll put a comment in the section below. But this weapon is just so fun. It's slow. But boy, oh boy, is it fun. And there we go. And that's how you do it. But we're not done yet. In order to wrap this episode up, I do need to finish the rest of the area. We just need to do so very, very carefully. Although, you know what? I think at this point we will change out this for the medical audit so we can actually see what health these guys have. At this point, it's all about just living more so than anything else. And I just went right into that. So that's not how you live. But I can convert energy to health. I actually forgot I had uh, equipped that. So that's good. And come on. There we go. There's some free health. And inside here, this door that we couldn't open before is now open. And this is going to lead not only to the item here, but the upper section where we can get some more rhino gear if we'd like. Some more health from energy. And you're dead. We get, let's see, some more alloy there. Some more scrap. Oh, careful, forgot about this drone. Destroy him up here. We have some more scrap, but we also have an exo lift. Don't miss this. This is going to complete the area for us, get all the loot, kill all the enemies. And if possible, we'll get some more rhino gear. So we already got the arm. Well, not this guy, he's still wearing links. But that's all right, I can always use the tungsten. up to level four proficiency with this. And here I am already get, oh no! All right, let me loop back around. Also, why am I not showing off this weapon? I have no idea. Although actually I don't want this probably for the next fight because I don't want to do too much damage. I do want to try and get some cuts. Now what I was trying to do was make this jump right here. And unfortunately I just went off to the side. There we go. Grab that. Voltaic Dynamo. Brand new implant for us. So the Vital Boost So the Vital Boost V3, this is what we got from the boss. This is a much better version of the other Vital Boost. So we get 21 instead of 18 health. And then we just picked up the Dynamo, which gets an extra 20% energy gain. So if you're using this with the metavoltaic implants, it can be really, really beneficial. Here is the other respawning enemy that has the rhino gear. So let's see, what do we want, head? Oh, his head is unarmored, so let's go for a leg. That's gonna kill him. <laughs> That's absolutely gonna kill him. Let's see. Ah, we didn't get it, bummer. But this is an enemy you can farm to get the rhino gear. By the way, as far as I know, Enemies always spawn in the same location, but they don't necessarily spawn with the same armor. Well, they'll still be wearing the same armor, there's yet another vital injection, but they might be wearing different combinations of the armor. So it's always good to go and check and see if you're trying to farm something, who's wearing what, because like I said, you can farm that guy for full rhino. And you know what, actually, I just sent that back up. 
we are actually going to call it part here. Definitely longer than I anticipated. By the way, three episodes for the first area is not what I was expecting, but I think we got a lot done. Next time, we are actually going to go to the next section and begin exploring there. By the way, the next area is huge and is probably going to span multiple parts as well, but has a really fun boss fight at the end. We're also going to get a lot new gear. We're going to get new weapons, new armor. We're also going to get a bunch of new implants. And off camera, I'm actually going to farm that particular enemy that I just fought to try and get a full set of rhino armor so I can show that off in the next part as well. But... That is going to do it for this episode. Hope you're still enjoying the surge. I hope you're playing on your own. And if you're finding this helpful, please let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.